I'm Jem Morris, host of Bright New Voices, the Balboa Press Hour, a show committed to showcasing up-and-coming self-published authors that have a message to share with the world. My first guest on today's show is Chris Shelton, author of Total Health with the Five Elements, Qigong for Self-Refinement. Chris, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to speak with you. Chris, this book and the practices within it will teach us how to prevent and eliminate illness, how to slow the aging process, and how to increase our wellness and vitality. Tell me a little bit about how you became a Chinese energy specialist and how Qigong essentially erased a number of health issues that you were experiencing at one time during your life. Yeah, you know, the the story, my old story, I guess you would say, of how I got started with this was, um, you know, at age 17, I grew up in a dysfunctional home, and uh, I had, uh, there was a lot of abuse, and uh, I started doing drugs at a young age. Um, fast forwarding by age 17, I had actually a heart attack from a uh, drug overdose, and then what happened was, was that, uh, you know, I realized that I was heading down the wrong path, and I was going to end up dead in prison or both, and so uh, I put myself into martial arts, or into taekwondo, to change my path. Uh, I'm one of these people that doesn't do anything halfway, so automatically, as soon as I started training, started competing also, and, and then one night before a match, I was hit to the back. It almost left me paralyzed from the waist down. A uh, doctor at the time had said that uh, that if, um, if I wasn't careful, that I could actually not walk again. So, led me to my first uh, Qigong teacher. He was a martial artist back then. Now I'm 18 years old, and this guy started talking to me about qi. And at age 18, you know, I didn't think there was any such thing as qi. I thought it was all, you know, a bunch of BS. Anyway, I had other health problems. I had nothing to lose, but uh, but to start taking these classes. Especially back then, you know, uh, Qigong is starting to begin more momentum now, but even back then, uh, nobody really knew about it. And, you know, after about six months of doing these practices, uh, the other health problems that I had throughout the years, like for digestive problems and sinus problems, you know, I just woke up one day and I was like, wow, uh, you know, when I stopped living on um, antibiotics, when I stopped living on the pseudocytin active and such, and I thought, wow, if a gentle movement and meditation could do this much change to my body, there must be something to Chinese medicine. That's incredible. And that just set you down the path to becoming a specialist. Yeah, it really did. It actually put me on track. But, uh, you know, that Johnny Cash song, Walk the Line, that's definitely me. You know, so things were get going really good with the Qigong. And then I, my extreme nature, I fear off. But finally, when I started my clinical practice uh, 17 years ago, you know, that was the thing that really put me on course and gave me my, my life purpose, my life mission. So for our listeners that don't know, what exactly is qi? And I, I should add that this is spelled Q-I. Correct. It would be so much easier if they, if they spelled it T-H-I. <laughs> uh, but yeah, qi, you know, uh, yeah, actually the people call our studio and say, you know, I'm inquiring about that qi gong class. Yeah. You know, so they even have a hard time pronouncing it. Um, but yeah, qi is the life force energy that emanates through all living things. Everything is an expression of energy. And uh, from... The very subtle, like the air we breathe, to, um, uh, to you know, material like our body or you know the chair you sit on, or uh, those are all expressions of chi. And for people that have a hard time grasping or connecting with chi, you know, when I'm teaching my classes, I, I tell people to fix it in terms of blood or foods in the body, because quite honestly, your blood is your chi of your body. You have no blood and you have no energy. And talk to anybody who can mean it, and they'll tell you this. You know, retired all the time. So essentially what she is is this energy that it came within us and around us. And what we're doing with these Qigong practices is that we're using mindfulness, movement, and breath and creative visualization in order to harness what's already inside of our body in order to bring about change and increase our overall vitality. It's just incredible. And I think it's it's... It, it can blow one's mind to think that these kinds of exercises, these simple movements can create so much change. Do you get a lot of pushback from people that just think, you know what, this might be too good to be true? Yeah, I think it's, um, uh, I think it's one of those things, you know, I'm a keynote speaker and I go in and I talk to the, say, the trauma nurses, the uh, uh, health protective services, you know, all those kinds of um, government agencies. And uh, sometimes, yes, I'll get people that think, you know, this is, you know, number one, that they can't meditate, so therefore um, this stuff can't work. Uh, because they taught, or at least this is how I was taught at a young age, that, you know, conventional medicine was the only way. And, and what I'm here to say is that, yeah, a conventional medicine is very important, but also, you know, somebody really 
uh, a person really has the ability to think within themselves to be able to change and heal themselves. And, you know, like I tell people, these practices have been around for 5,000 years, and anything that faith has a way of doing itself in, you don't have to expose its weaknesses, it'll do it on itself. But for this to still be around after 5,000 years, uh, it just speaks volumes as far as the what it can Right. It's, it's proven effectiveness for sure. And I love that no special equipment is required. You can really do this anywhere. Do you believe that anyone can do this? And how can our listeners that might be interested become Qigong instructors? Oh, yes. Anybody could do this. And, uh, you know, we also, in 2015, actually, thanks to uh, Maria Schreiber, uh, I presented Qigong at the World Games in Los Angeles. And um, since then, now the Special Olympics has a program called Healthy Athlete, Strong Mind. And we're clinical directors for all of California, my wife and I, uh, Prisa, that where we give these practices to the coaches, the families, and the athletes, you know, not only to deal with the stress of competition, but more importantly, you know, what you do with the energy of somebody pulling you. And so we have paraplegics that take the classes. Sometimes I have clients or patients that come in that uh, are really sick and can't even lift their arms. They have uh, lupus or Lyme disease. And like I tell people, you know, your mind's a very powerful thing. So even if you were to read the book and then uh, visualize uh, visualize the movement or the practice, we are not just doing that is something that uh, will help to create change. And yeah, a lot of these practices can be done from a seated, standing, or lying down position. And so for people that are interested in becoming a certified Qigong instructor, we do have a online Qigong teacher training program. And level one actually starts next a week from today, uh, next Monday. And and it's an interactive program. It's 13 weeks, and at the end of 13 weeks, then we get together and meet in San Jose, California for a weekend workshop to apply the practical application. And the whole purpose of our Qigong teacher training program is, once again, it's not just to teach people how to do movements and meditations, but really understand there is a medicine, there is a theory behind it, and you know we're looking for people that want to create change and um, become change makers, because ultimately, once you learn these practices for yourself, there's nothing better than, than going out and giving back to society and to, and to serve society. That's incredible, Chris. We are, are so thrilled for all of your success. Chris, quickly before I let you go, tell our listeners how they can get a hold of you, how they can learn more about you and the programs that you offer. So you can visit our website, sheltonqigong.com, and and on the uh, homepage of that website is all the social media in the upper right-hand uh, corner, so um, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or the YouTube channel, uh, they can, and there, there is a you can reach out that way, or there is the contact um, on that homepage as well, too. Also, we have the um, qigongteachertraining.com website, which is for uh, those listeners that are interested in becoming a change maker and applying this to their life and then giving it back to their loved ones or and to society. Well, it's just fantastic. And again, the book is Total Health with the Five Elements, Qigong for Self-Refinement. And our listeners can get that on BelboPress.com, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all of the major retailers out there. Chris Shelton, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. 